Android is so complex, it has so many customizable features and has so many applications on the Play Store that it is impossible to try all of them. So in this video, I will show you some of the not so common Android hacks that you can do to your phone. So let's start. If you own a marshmallow device or lower, you might have felt the need for a multitasking application or a video player that floats above all the windows and you can play a separate video while doing other tasks. So this application does just that. So this is the awesome pop-up video player and this application plays videos on a floating screen and you can do other tasks in the background. So what this app does is it plays videos on a floating screen and you can do other tasks in the background. You can select any video from YouTube or you can search it. So you can see that the video is playing and I can browse through my mobile. You can also resize the window if you want by dragging from the edge. And I'll mute the video real quick because it is distracting the audio. But you can drag the window anywhere you want and you can open any other app like Facebook or a file manager. And it would work just fine. So let's move on to the next one. So this one is the Pixoff application. So what this app does is that it turns off the pixels on your phone in a grid like pattern. So whenever you turn off your pixels, it will save a lot of battery and you won't even be able to feel the effect of it. It also has some night filter features. So this is how you do it. You can change the density of the pixels and you can enable the filter. So wherever there is a black dot, the pixels have not lit and this will save a lot of battery as not the whole display is running but only some part of the display is showing and you won't notice it much if you increase the density of the pixels. You can also change different patterns. This is when the density is 1. This is when the density is 5. When the density is 5, it's really tough to make out the difference. So you guys might have heard of the LMT launcher that requires root access. It is an application that creates a circular sidebar on the side and you can get this feature without root using an application known as Pi Control. You will have to download it and after you set it up you will get a circular sidebar and you can access it anytime. And this is quite useful you can have various shortcuts like hangouts or any app that you want. You can completely customize the navbar and you can add any other features that you want. You can have various levels onto it and you can change the shortcuts. You can also change the activation area so it will open when you click from the top or from the sides. I like it from the left and right sides and you can change the various shortcuts that you want. You can press and hold to open the app with the smaller icon and if you just go up and drag it there, it will open the app that has the bigger icon. You can also see the battery percentage and you can also search. You can also set it up according to your needs and you can add the various shortcuts that you require. It works brilliantly well and also doesn't require root access. So if you like this app as much as I do, please click on the like button. And before moving on to the next one, I've previously made some secret hacks videos. If you're liking this video, you can also check them out. So this hack will let you copy multiple items at once and trust me it might not sound as useful but when you start using it it's quite addicting. So this is the app it's the native clipboard app so you'll just have to open this app you'll get a small tutorial when you start the application you can just skip that and I'll show you how this app works. This app doesn't require root and you'll just have to enable it from the accessibility menu and after you're done you just have to double tap any text field and it will open the clipboard. And these are the items that I've recently copied and you can just click on it to paste it to the text feed. You can also delete it or edit it or pin it or even paste it multiple times. To copy any text, you just have to copy it the normal way. And to paste it, you just have to double tap and then it will open the clipboard and you can paste it. You can also use the normal way to paste if you don't want to use this. This is a great add-on, doesn't take a lot of battery and is very helpful if you do a lot of texting or browsing. If you do a lot of texting, this app will surely be very helpful. This is an app that is kind of like an auto-responder. So whenever someone replies, it will auto-respond to the messages. So when you open the app, you will find the tutorial and in this it will show you how you can use the application. 
so you have two options here one is for the reply and other is for smart reply if you click on reply you will have to type a text message and you will not have to go to the app and you can type the message here and it will be sent directly the other option is smart reply and this is why i love this application it will give you a list of all the options that you can use to give reply to the question that is being asked it will give you some of the common replies to that message i'm honestly surprised by the fact how good it works it will save you a lot of time if you do texting and you can use this just for the reply feature because it will let you reply from any screen and you won't have to go to that directly but i have to say the smart reply feature is quite cool this is by far the best app of 2016 according to me and it is the parallel space app this app lets you run multiple accounts at once and you might say what's the big deal but it will let you run multiple facebook accounts multiple instagram accounts multiple whatsapp accounts or any app that uses a separate account you can just clone the app and run it separately and the cool thing is it doesn't require root so all you have to do is click on the add button and click on the apps that you want cloned uh, so what it will do is it will clone the app and run it separately so you can use multiple accounts in one device at once suppose for example i select hangouts and click add to parallel space so now it has added three apps to parallel space i can tap on the icon to launch the application from here and you see i'm not logged into this but on my actual instagram i've been logged in you can also create a shortcut so you can easily access the app all you have to do is drag the icon to the create shortcut button and it will create a shortcut on your home screen and the shortcut will be named the application and plus at the end like it's instagram plus you guys might have heard of a root app named tasker it is a root application that lets you automate the task but there is an application that lets you automate tasks even when you are not rooted so this app is called macro droid and it will let you set up macros that do various tasks when you trigger some activity you can set up various macros like it will automatically pick up the call when you are driving or walking or when you are running it will automatically switch off phone to airplane mode there are various possibilities all you have to do is add a trigger uh, like an activity i have set it to running and you will have to set up the actions so airplane mode off and you can also set some constraints so if you want your phone to be not switched on to airplane mode while you are in a certain location and still running you can set it up as well it has a lot of possibilities and you can set up various macros and it is a great step towards mobile automation so that's it for the video guys if you like this video click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this